Hi y'all, she was seven. Okay, so someone wrote to me on my page, it was a guy on my Facebook, and he was telling me the story about this girl that he, you know, met and asked her out to coffee to Starbucks as like, I guess their first date, but he called it a meet and greet. And he says that the girl met him at Starbucks, ordered her coffee, and that he only had $23. And so he ordered her coffee, paid for her coffee, and she told him that she's used to going out to dinner on a first date. She was hungry, and you know, he told her to buy herself a sandwich. And then she proceeded to say, Well, I'm used to guys taking me out, whining and dining me. My ex boyfriend, you know, paid everything, took care of me. Um, and you know, I I don't understand. I can't date you because my family's going to think you're broke because you, you know, you're not going to be able to pay my bills or take care of me or you're not going to be able to, you know, take me out to dinner and this, this, and that. So, of course, he saw that as a negative thing and he says, can you believe that? I told, um, you know, so basically they're, they're not talking to each other anymore because of that, because she set her standards. So... Let me t I'm going to read y'all what I wrote back. Y'all can laugh. Okay. Let me just read y'all the thing. So y'all can get the whole story. Got to put on my glasses. Okay. So, here's the story. I have $23.99 in my pockets. Went to meet up with a younger chick at Starbucks. Paid for our iced coffee during our meet and greet. She kept talking about how She's about the club life, about having fun. She normally don't do dates at Starbucks. Could we go out to eat? I'm like, shorty, this isn't a date. This is a meet and greet. If you're hungry, they sell sandwiches. You can buy your own food. I'm not hungry, I told her. After work, I mostly go home and take care of personal business. I don't have time for clubs. I have a bar in my own house. Shorty says, I sound boring as if. Found out she didn't have a job. She let her ex-boyfriend take care of her. Now her parents says I sound broke. What woman wants a dude that can't pay for dinner? I'm like, B, you're 22 years old. You have no job. I have my own place and you aren't nowhere near the same level as I. But hey, take care of your little A. No, take your little A home and eat your parents' food. That's what he told her. Okay, so do y'all want to hear my response? Okay, my response was, LOL. Well, the sad and funny thing is that next month she will probably meet a man who will wine and dine her and take care of her because she expects it and will eventually attract the type of man who wants to do those things for a woman. Believe me, LOL, I met the man who I married when I was 22. He wine and dined me, paid all my bills, brought me, bought me a car and took me on trips. We are still married to this day. Most women know what they want in a man and they choose and they choose not to stray or let down their standards because they just might meet the man that they that will cater to them. I would never suggest that a woman lower her personal standards. Men, however, have more time than women to get their money up and have a family. Women are on a schedule and a time clock to have kids and a family. So we have to be sure and direct in the direction we are going in life. Wasting our time with a man who does not meet our standards is pointless. Not to say that you are not a great man. Just saying that when a woman seeks a man to take care of her, she cannot waste her time on one who is not willing. No harm done. She was just not the one for you, and you were not the one for her. Okay, and then he writes back, LOL, yeah, that's how a lot of men think today. I feel sorry for these young girls. 
don't feel sorry for them. They end up like me. <laughs> so I just want to let y'all know how these guys are thinking. They're trying to, they're trying to take you out on a date with $23 in their pockets. If you are approached by somebody and they ask you out on a date, knowing that they only have $23 in their pocket, what kind of planning is that? You know, what kind of husband he's going to make? Not a very good one. You don't ask someone on a date when you only have $23. No. How do you know this person, you know, was not thinking it was going to be a real date and that she was going to get to eat and do all this, you know? What if she built you up to all her friends and family and say, oh, I got a date, I got a date. Oh, he's going to take me out. And then you take her to Starbucks with $23. No. Okay. I know a lot of women who say, well, I will do coffee dates. Well, that's y'all. I don't do coffee dates unless I'm meeting my friend who's a girl or gay guy, whatever. I don't do coffee dates with men unless I'm married to them and, we, and we're going there together, you know. I don't do coffee dates because coffee dates is like, you know what? Basically, it's what, what it's saying. I don't know if I'm ready to spend money on you yet. Meaning, I don't know if you're worth it yet. If you don't know I'm worth it by now, then you'll never know. <laughs> you got to take that chance. You know, ladies, when you have that self-esteem about yourself, you don't do coffee dates, darling. You do. You, I can meet you at the bar. We can have a drink. Because when you get up and leave, because you can't afford to buy me drink number two, somebody else is. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Don't meet at a coffee bar. Meet at a real bar. If you're going to just meet out, meet at a real bar. So, he, so... They can see all the men Google and grovel over you. Don't meet at no damn Starbucks. Okay, I love Starbucks. God knows I love Starbucks. But I would not, I would never have gone on a first date there. You're going to take me to a real restaurant and a real bar so you can see other men wanting me. Okay, so you can know my value and my worth. You're not going to take me to Starbucks with a bunch of people staring at laptops and uh, hipsters. No, you're taking me somewhere where I want to go, first of all, if you ask me out. Second of all, you're going to get to watch other people watch me and envy you so you can feel good about yourself because of me. Okay, now I know that sounds conceited as get out. But that's just the truth, okay? That's why I don't do Starbucks coffee dates. Never had. Never had to. I've had someone ask me, oh, you want to meet for coffee? <laughs> and I was like, you know, I already had some coffee today. I already had my coffee today. How about we meet for a drink, a real drink? And they'll laugh like, ha, 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 ha. Okay, well, maybe. That means they got to go to the ATM or something I don't know but ladies don't sell yourself short don't sell yourself for a cup of coffee don't do it it's not worth it and somebody asked me this before if you do accept a date to Starbucks make sure you bring your friend so they know it's not a date either okay it's a meet and greet and I want you to meet my friend too okay if someone if someone has the audacity to invite you on a first date to, for coffee bring your friend that way he knows this is not a date if you want a date if you want me alone if you want me to take the effort and time to come out of my busy schedule to meet you make it worth my while because I'm busy shopping with my girl and we both need a coffee right about now because we are pooped thanks for buying our coffee meet and greet thank you I'll see you later if you want to go on a real date give me a call when you get some money okay I don't <laughs> y'all I'm just I'm, I'm just having fun but like seriously coffee dates if you if if you're seeking someone who you want to really be in a relationship with who you want to really you know get to know you have to bat down all of their approaches that don't please you because otherwise you'll just be wasting your time and when a real man steps up to you he's going to have reservations 
to a place that has valet if not valet just to a nice place at least that the person who works there opens the door for you in the restaurant you know so don't sell yourself shortly I don't care how desperate you are you know I don't care how desperate you are don't sell yourself short sorry y'all I got cut off okay so let's just break it down this was an african-american man and an african-american woman now let's just pretend this was a caucasian lady or a latina lady do you think that he would have invited her to starbucks to meet as well i like i'm not trying to be racist or anything because i drink starbucks y'all i be drinking starbucks but typically you know a person who goes to Starbucks every day and gets their coffee because they can afford it is not going to be impressed with meeting at Starbucks for a date um, because it's like a daily thing. It's like a daily routine. It's like, okay, I gotta go get my Starbucks. Okay, I gotta get my Starbucks. Okay, I gotta go get my Starbucks. I gotta get my Starbucks day after day after day. Now, some guy comes up to you and he's trying to impress you and say, oh, do you want to meet at Starbucks? And you're like, no, I've already been there today. Let's try somewhere else. You know, if this lady would have, you know, frequented Starbucks on the daily, she would have automatically said, you know, I've already been there today. You know, can we do something else? Can we go to a bar? Can we go for tapas, sushi, something? You know what? Say all that. And he'll be like, well, you know, if he tells you how much money he has, first off, and that he can only afford this, cut him off. That's it. Don't even. He might have been honest, but he was honest in, in a way that let you know to cut him off. Okay. If, some, if a guy admits to you that he only has $23 to take you on a date, cut him off. Why? Because he's setting you up. He's setting you up to, to, um, to accept his mediocrity or his less than. He's setting you up to accept that. If you go on that date knowing he only has $23, you have set yourself up. <laughs> because the next time he's only gonna have $10. And then the next time he's only going to have $5. And then the next time you're paying. Okay? No. You know what I would say? I would say, well, you know what? That is so nice of you to invite me to coffee and you only have $23. That is so sweet. I'm going to I'm going to build them up, right? But, you know, I would rather us go on a nice date at a nice restaurant and have some drinks so that we can really get to know each other a lot better. So, you know, when you get paid, <laughs> my number will still be the same and we can meet out. But I really don't want to go out with you and spend your last $23 because what if you need that for an emergency? <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna be like super embarrassing him while being nice at the same time. It's called nice nasty, nasty. So I'm going to be like, well, I don't want you to be without for the week, you know, and, and I don't want to, I don't want to dip into your rent money or anything just to take me out. You know, I would rather just wait until you can afford it, you know, put him in his place because that's where he needs to be. And that's what he needs to hear. He doesn't need to hear. Okay, I'll meet you at Starbucks, even though y'all only have $23. I would feel guilty meeting somebody at Starbucks and they only had $23 to their name until payday. I don't want to take your money. No, I would be like, you know what? That's okay, baby. That's okay. I don't want your little twin. I don't want your Starbucks, baby. Why don't you wait until you get paid? You know, make sure you pay all your bills first. Get your rent. Get your lights. And let's just see what you have left after that. And maybe we can go out to eat. But I don't want to take your money, okay? That's why I could never broke. Uh, that's why I never could date broke guys because I felt guilty. You know, they're trying to spend all their little ch ch uh, change their rent money trying to impress you which they're not doing and then they expect something in return because they just spent half their rent on you and you're just used to that that's normal so you feel obligated they get mad and frustrated and, and it's just like you're not you're not equal you know I can't date you because I feel guilty for spending half your rent money on dinner you know I need to date someone who can afford dinner okay so I know I just like you know went off left field but seriously girls you, if you go on a coffee date for the first date or meet and greet 
don't even go for coffee. So you know what, let's just meet at a parking lot because that's the same thing. <laughs> just say, you know what, you, let's skip Starbucks. Let's just meet in the parking lot. And he's gonna be like, really, you don't want any coffee? Like, no, I'm good, I had some this morning. And, or I just had some while you were calling me. You know, I have one right now. It's like, I have a coffee right now. I just came from Starbucks. So it's gonna go, oh, okay. So y'all are gonna meet in the parking lot and you get to see his car too, girl. So you already know. So you get up to, so you get up to the parking lot and meet him. See what he's about. Okay, well, it was nice to meet you. Maybe we can do it again when you have some money. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go because I know I'm going to get a lot of bad comments in this video and I'm just, I'm ready to bring it on.